welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality he said Sultan of Sokoto has betrayed the Niger Delta leaders as they take over the petroleum industry bill and now the Niger Delta leaders are crying out while their Niger Delta politicians are smiling to the bank after they have collected money from the Fulani Nigerian government to keep silence. You know, the Niger Delta leaders trusted the Fulanis who were led by the Sultan of Sokoto, Said Abubakar, the Minister of Petroleum, Male Kaye, the FCT Minister, Mohamed Bello, the Governor of Nasara State, Abdullah Sule, the Slave Arewa Consultative Forum Chairman, Audu Ogbe, Ango Abdullahi, the Secretary to the Government, Boss Mustafa, and Simon Lalong. They were all present at the meeting. My brothers and my sisters, the Niger Delta leaders originally proposed a 10% contribution from the oil companies to the host communities in Niger Delta. But the Fulani Janjaweed at the National Assembly slashed this to 3%. But the Fulani then added a 30% profit from NNPC to be given to the Fulanis. They now termed it as frontier basins, that is, potential oil fields outside the Niger Delta Basin. You see why it is dangerous to do things, to collaborate with the Fulani Janjaweed? They will always betray you. The Fulani also gave themselves 10% prospective mining license to be given to the Fulani Janjaweed states. So what that means is that even the Fulani states that the oil pipeline that was piped from Niger Delta to the north, they will also partake in the PIB. They will partake in it. They will partake in it. You see that they think they are wise. Even the Niger Delta leaders are now crying because this was a big betrayal by the Fulani Janjaweed to the Niger Delta leaders who have supported the Fulanis against Biafran Freedom, Mazin and the Kanu and IPOB. They have supported them. They have supported them. You know, they are claiming that the PIB passage was a campaign promise made to Niger Delta in 2015 by the late Buhari. That was what they said. They want to pass a very wicked bill. They are stealing from them. You know, it is funny when Ndibos are telling the Niger Delta, especially the Jaws, that we need to join together and fight as one big family. And they think the Igbos are after the oil. Now from this PIB bill, they can now see that the Fulanis are the ones that are after their oil. Not the Igbos. Not the Igbos. The North is making stealing of oil money official by making a law for it. So the PIB bill is what the North is doing to make stealing of oil money official. They are passing the law. 
Imagine removing 30% of profit from everything that will be sold from the time the bill pass becomes law. That will be money meant exclusively for the not to spend. Imagine that. So all the oil lifted in Niger Delta, 30% goes to the north. Whether they use it for oil exploration, as they claim, or to buy houses in Dubai, or marry many wives, you have no right to ask them. Not only that, the host community has been made to include any community where pipeline passes, which means the northern communities where pipelines passes would henceforth be regarded as host community and they will share from the 3% trust fund created for the host community. Asari Dokubo and his gang that are fighting IPOB that are fighting our leader, Mazi Namdekanu, will not see this. They, you know, he's there mocking Mazi Namdekanu that is fighting to liberate Niger Delta. You know, fools think Igbo is their enemy, but now they have now seen their real enemy. The Fulani Janjaweed are their real enemy. The leader of Pan Niger Delta Forum, Pandev, Chief Edwin Clark, has described the newly passed Petroleum Industry Bill, PIB, ready for harmonization, as satanic, unjust, embarrassing, and has dashed the hope of the people of Niger Delta. Whereas the Fulanese are saying, that it is a big win for the North. It's a big win for them. It's a big win. You know, Clark, who is also the leader of Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, you know, said that the provision that allocated a huge 30% of profit for further frontier exploration in the North was a source of concern especially in a fast-changing world of investment shifts away from fossil fuel. My brothers and my sisters, you see that the Fulanese are smart. They have, you know, they have betrayed the Niger Deltans. The two chambers of the National Assembly last week Thursday passed the PIB bill after 13 years of legislative fireworks because the Fulanese have been waiting for a time like this in order to steal and to make the stealing of oil money official because now they have their terrorist government as the Nigerian government. They will use the money to buy houses in Dubai and marry more wives. And they will use the money also to fund terrorism. That's what they will do. And that is why they have allocated that everything sold by NNPC. And what does NNPC deal with? The oil exploration from the Niger Delta Basin. They want 30% of it. Even the people producing the oil, the host community, are not getting 30%. Now, you see what the Fulani did. They brought that at the dime minute and they smuggled it in into the PIB bill. And they settled all the Niger Delta and Southern politicians. They settled them. None of them could talk. They allowed the Fulani Janjaweed to get away with that. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. Bye-bye for now.